extension the whole of the Ghanaian public. Well, after all the fanfare, the hue and cry, the back and forth, the justices of the Supreme Court have handed two decisive rulings this morning or through the afternoon. The first ruling, which was a unanimous decision of nine justices to zero, the application by petitioner, applicant, for leave to replace portions of the decision of case, to file additional grounds, and to supplement their statement of case was roundly dismissed. 9-0. Now, the review application itself suffered a similar dismissal. 9-0. So, for my friends on the other side who are interested in the number of goals scored, it's now 18 goals to none. Nine justices plus nine is 18. So, we are leading... 18-0 for today. <laughs> now, I, I was listening to what my friends, petitioners legal team, were saying to you a while ago. You see, when we come to court, we are guided by procedure. It is not, it is not what you decide to do in court. It is the procedure of the court which governs proceedings in that court. <laughs> My good friend Marietta Brewopon Apia, who was the Attorney General of the Republic, so is my other very good friend Dominic, Dr. Dominic Ayeni who was the Deputy Attorney General. It was in their time, as leaders of the bar, when the CI-99 was drafted and passed into law. I think it's unfortunate for Marietta to stand before you and make those comments that she makes. The law is not about what you want. It is about what you will get. And this business of they're talking about fair hearing and all that. In one of the authorities that their lead counsel, Mr. Tajika Kat, quoted, it was stated quite clearly there that speedy hearing is synonymous to fair hearing. So I, I don't know what this fetish it is about expedition, expedition, expedition being sacrificed for justice. In the case that he himself, Tajika Kat, quoted, it was speedy hearing is fair hearing. And I don't, I don't really get the complaint. When you come to court and your mind, with all due respect, is jaundiced, that you should expect a certain ruling from the court. That is what is occasioning you when the ruling goes against you. In the courtroom, I heard my sister Marietta also saying that their lead counsel preferred superior arguments. Really? Superior arguments. Indeed, if the arguments were superior, nine justices would not find that argument not superior. So that, that, that position they are canvassing is neither here nor there. In any event, in any event, if you are emotional about a ruling, that is what you get. And at the day JSC, in one of the celebrated cases, in our civil jurisprudence, had this to say in a case which came before the Supreme Court, in Mechanical Lloyd versus Nati, that a review application is not an emotional reaction to a ruling of the court or to an unfavorable judgment from the court.